So, I am listening to, in this quick and dirty video, I am listening to Brendan James' Earthbound. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, obviously, uh, ambient soundscape music. Uh, so this is Earthbound. Um, his fourth ambient album. Be sure and check him out. Brendan and James dot bandcamp dot com good stuff and that's gonna do us well in the background <laughs> alright well at the beginning you actually saw some some digging I did uh, on a little mini vacation we took to uh, Big Bear and <laughs> it was funny because I you know I jokingly I jokingly said to my wife, I'm, I'm gonna look for some vinyl. And <laughs> there's a record store in Big Bear. That is so awesome. It's yet another reason I wanna move there. <laughs> so this record store, uh, what was it even called now? Um, Village Music. So it was part record store, part uh, music instrument store. I was afraid before I went in that the emphasis was going to be on the musical instruments, but the emphasis was definitely on records, CDs, even cassettes. Um, so I was very, very pleased with that. Uh, very, very good store. Um, as I suspected, the the overall prices were definitely on the high side. Typically, uh, 15 to 20 dollars for a used record. Um, yeah, it's uh, my go-to record store. Their prices are, are closer to between five and ten dollars. Um, so yeah, big price price difference. But when it's when it's the only record shop in town in Big Bear in this case, uh, you know. But there were dollar bins, and then there were fifty percent off bins. That's mostly what I hunted. But as I was taking my stack of records up to the up to the counter, I saw that some CDs uh, they were priced down to two ninety nine, which. It, in general, for me, is is a little expensive for used CDs. Um, I can very frequently get them for a lot less than that. But, but, Monkey Mania is continuing with Peter Tork. Stranger things have happened. How? What were the odds of of finding this? I happened to look over, I saw Peter Tork's name, my wig almost blew off, <laughs> and, oh my goodness, I guess you want to see the inside, I'm, oh, so excited, so excited, and I ordered my, uh, my shirt for the Monkees concert in September, so excited, so excited. Brendan, uh, this music is so good. You guys check him out. BrendanJames.bandcamp.com. Good stuff. Excellent. I wish I had my headphones on right now, actually. I'm sure it, it would blow me away. Anyway, let's get down to the records. So. <laughs> now, he's, he's kind of, he's kind of the joke of the vinyl community, one of the jokes I should say, um, but I could not, look at the condition of this thing, for one dollar, I had never seen this one, 
Um, so you better believe I had to pick it up because, yeah. His his music is is very very safe. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris at D Dixieland Farms uh, basically described his music and also Herbie Mann's music as you know you don't need all you really need is one of their albums because they essentially all sound the same. They're all equally good, but. You just have to pick them up. <laughs> and this one, I was very excited. Because I, I've definitely never seen this one. Oh, the first one. <laughs> this was uh, uh, Fandango. And then this is... Under a Spanish Moon. Yeah. I, I saw this and I was like, I've never seen that one before. Not in pictures or anything. Anyway. Um, a, li a little bit of a shout out to uh, uh, another fat bearded guy talking about records. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever get his, his name right. And then also, um, oh, whoa, oh, oh. uh, whoa, Shannon Ziblock, uh, Dr. Dell. Uh, <laughs> he's into country records too. Uh, Porter Wagner, uh, Ballads of Love. They, these are in great shape for one dollar. Great shape. Very cool. This I'm very excited about. Um, I, I've talked about my Kenny Rogers connection before. Um, if you don't want to go back way back through my videos, uh, you can always ask me. <laughs> what the connection is, but it's, it's a very, very strange connection I have with Kenny Rogers. So this is uh, Kenny Rogers and the first edition. Something's burning. How's that? That's like classic, classic Kenny. Uh, this one, uh, I have to give a shout out to uh, Squid Lover. Uh, he, he saw me digging in, in one of my videos, and he mentioned that I had passed up Yvonne Elliman. Um, so when I when I saw her in this dollar bin, I snatched her up real fast. <laughs> uh, love me. Um, most famous for uh, her her appearance or work in uh, Jesus Christ Superstar the movie. So uh, thrilled to pick up one of her records. Just a couple more to keep this a quick and dirty video. I'm a, I'm a big Corey Hart fan. I love Corey Hart. This is uh, Fields of Fire. I'm not even sure what songs it has on it. It's one of his... Uh, I, I can't even tell you what the copyright is, but thrilled to pick that up. And the last one, this was the most expensive, but it was 50% off in fantastic condition. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Against the Wind. Originally $14, I paid 7 this is, I believe this is my first Bob Seger uh, uh, record. This will definitely, you know, <laughs> he's he's one of those artists that will put hair on your chest, makes you feel like a manly man listening to him. His voice is just so manly. <laughs> it's just good old rock and roll, you know. Anyway, cheers, VC. And definitely, definitely check out and support Brendan James, Earthbound. Um, sounds like really good, kind of dark, ambient, and soundscape music. Loving it. This came all the way from Australia, and it was not expensive, so check it out. And you can also buy a... a digital copy as well. You don't have to worry about shipping. There you go. Anyway, this is not, this is not a quick and dirty video. No. But, 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.